So we're back. Dan and Ninko show, a special Dan and Ninko show, episode number 38. The traitor Tom game. Brady's coming to town. The traitor. And he's coming. I'm coming like a wrecking ball. <laughs> I hated that song when I would make a play. They had wrecking ball come on by Miley Cyrus. I look around <laughs> like. fit you, though. I thought I wanted Highway to the Danger Zone or something <laughs> cool. Uh, <laughs> Did you, get the you didn't wrecking? get the pick your own thing? Yeah, I said highway to the... <laughs> they put, they put and ball. then they put wreck... I make a sack, I get up, I go... Wrecking ball? I came in like a wrecking ball swing, swinging nude on the wrecking ball? Like, woo! They thought that fit you pretty well. Woo. Yeah, well, you know, but it is. <laughs> Big day today, see that key? The Corvette made it through a new motor swap, and it will be available on Dan O'Brien's website. Coming soon, you can buy my car <laughs> Maybe. You we'll sign see. the dash? We'll see. I'll sign it. You want to sign it? Me and Winnow will sign it. We'll put Zeus in that thing and Brody. Do a commercial with Zeus and Brody. They'll be in that thing. Just. Anyway. All right. I worked this morning. I'm feeling a little tired because I've been up since five. And uh, Working on get up? You didn't get up? Get up. It is time to get up. Yeah. And then I have to do a little hit from here. I'll do this. But first, the very, very special special brew that we're about no. to drink right now and i'm going to bring it out now because i don't want to wait i don't want to wait how long have you had this for or a couple of weeks no big shout out to my friend jeff for getting me this oh eddie topper eddie topper's good eddie topper eddie topper jeff Original, thank you thank you so much the alchemist in the, vermont yeah how about when i went up there went up to uh the alchemist in vermont and me and paid were skiing and um i had no idea i didn't i'm not i wasn't this was like a couple years ago so i had no idea that this was a big deal and i see a line and i'm like hmm that line looks pretty dang long yeah what is it and uh stopped because i saw it was a brewery and i asked the person i said is this is this line to get beer and they said, oh, yeah, usually it's twice as long. I said, to get beer. And they said, yeah. I said, well, maybe I'll come back different times. So we came back, like, right when it opened, went on a Wednesday, right when they opened. There was no line. I walked right in. I said, limit one or four four-packs yeah. was the limit. And I was like, four four-packs? That doesn't seem like a lot. They said, you wouldn't imagine. People come in and they just buy, you know, 30 four-packs and they wipe us out. So I bought it and... Good stuff. Oh boy, that is good. What is that? The Vermont water or something that makes that so tasty? It's the middle of nowhere. It's, it's, the, it's very it's good. The fresh air. Me and Paige are gonna go up there. We want to go up for a little. We need a little adult getaway. And I said, let's go up to Stowe before the snow comes. Let's go drink a. Sh okay. Yeah, I can say shit ton. Yeah. We get a shit ton of beer now. I, just, your, your I was just on. I was just on TV. You so get you, it, you get your little trailer. I want a trailer. I want a little trailer. Yeah, but what is your wife doesn't want it? No, she's like, "Can I go to the hotel? Where's the nicest hotel close?" I'm like, <laughs> there's, no, "There's no nice." What about camping? There. Let's go camping. It's called glamping. Well, this shirt makes me look strong right now. I just saw my reflection. Um, Jesus. anyway, don't laugh. <laughs> wow, don't laugh, don't laugh. Um, I just want to do a quick shout out here. I need, I need to do a quick shout out on the pod because you know. I was on my Instagram account and I happened to see something and uh, it's called Pawtucket Pawn, Rhode Island. You follow them, if you follow them on Instagram, they got some of the nicest stuff. Like if you want any type of like, you know, chain, does your chain hang low? You hook me up with this one right here. It's a little thick. It's a little thick for me. I keep it tucked, you know, because I'm a dad. But... Uh, <laughs> You know, you don't want to be you don't want to be too <laughs> blinged out at the soccer. You know, right now I look like a soccer dad. It but the pink uh, shorts, the salmon. It's a salmon short. Pink. Let's yeah. not be insulting now. And coral. Uh, what's that? Coral. That, you coral. Like that one? I like yeah. coral. Yeah. He's got a beautiful yachtmaster too, which I can't. The watches are great. Which yachtmaster too? Uh, he's got. What is it? That one. What is it like? Two tone. It's the blue and white face. Oh, it's just the, it's okay. just the stainless. I yeah. can't afford a gold one. They're way too expensive. <laughs> you gotta stop saying that. I mean, I, as you I, roll up in a hundred thousand dollar car. Yeah, yeah, but you know, it's cars. You can always move on from them and get money back. Watches you can make money on too. I made. Well, I've actually made money on every 
purchase on a watch that I have had, which so is a good thing. We were walking by a bunch of Rolex stores in Vegas. I was with my wife. They're insane. Rolexes no, are... There's no Rolo Rolexes in them. No, like you, you can't look get in, them. There's nothing. You can't get them. Like the case is just empty. So he's got this green, rose gold, green face uh, president, just the uh, day, day and date. Yeah. It's beautiful. It is a beautiful watch with a green face yeah, on it. I, I like the sport. But... Sport that versions. that is a nice watch. That's an old man watch. It is an old man watch, but I yeah. am an old soul, <laughs> and uh, that one is a. You can get that one for a clean fifty-seven five. Oh. You got it? No, I don't. Not for a. Not for that. I. You know, I look at this whoop, and I'm just like, oh, it doesn't even tell time. It just checks what my is heart it? rate. It's a whoop, whoop, whoop. Checks my heart rate, my sleep cycles, everything. Wow, that's exciting. Yeah, it tells me. Uh, all right, so back to the, probably the yeah, most let's important get back. thing. Yeah, come on. Let's What's co your take at the state of the Patriots right now? Oh, man. Oh. Goo. Um, uh, they look bad. In all phases? Yeah, yeah they, they, they can't block. Um, they can't really stop the run that well. They can't protect and punt. They can't kick off. Yeah, I said two, like, uh, what the heck is that? Two illegal proceed like yeah, like how, uh, he's I, got a big leg too. He's got a huge leg. I said, bring tone it back are, are, a little are, bit. Are they trying to be cute with it and just try to like corner kick it? Like I don't know what they're trying to do, but the, the guy uh, was number eleven. He's a freak athlete, and I understand like don't kick it to him, but kick just kick it out of the back of the end. Zone. That's what I mean. Like, yeah, you just, like I don't <laughs> know, like the sky kick or the pooch kick. But uh, yeah, the Saints matchup was bad. It looked bad, and I. They're a much better team than the Saints. Yes. Yeah. They came, I came into that. Well, I don't know that now. I don't know. Are they? I came into that matchup and I was like, all right, so let's. This is a big test. I thought it was a big test because the first week, okay, it was close. Should have won that game. Let it get away. Second week, Jets stink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four interceptions. And I said that this game against the Saints was actually going to be a sneaky big game. Because both teams were kind of looking terrible. Saints looked bad week two. Um, and they couldn't score in the red zone. So the Patriots haven't been able to score in the red zone, which is a huge issue. And you're going to play a team in the in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Who What's they, the real reason they can't score in the end zone, though? Uh, the play calling and yeah. the protection. It's the play calling. I mean, yeah. it's... I don't know. Like, there was a third, third and long. Two. No, you had a third and two in the red zone. And you run a draw with Bolden, and you have Damian I Harris on the bench. Yeah, I don't understand that. Like, I, I don't like that. Didn't make any sense. But the thing too is, even JJ the, Taylor, that guy is fast. Yeah, yeah. But the they're in the red zone. They don't throw to the tight ends. Like, why? Why you do paid, the tight ends? I don't know. Why do they not go out together? Like, well, why don't just spread them the, out? The one guy just volleyballs here. Have an interception here. <laughs> have a pick six. You know, like, oh, this is mine. Oh, dropped it again. But I, I just don't understand is you built a team around the tight ends, right? That's what the offense yeah. is built around. And they you don't didn't use get a them. big receiver, and you never you don't use them. You don't use them. But, and Hunter Henry doesn't look as, I don't know, but he separation, he dynamic. to run a route, though. I don't know what they're doing. There was like a third and long, and I was like, all right, maybe they're going to just try and attempt to get the first down. What'd they do? Just a little flat route. Yeah. Five guys there to just take your knees out. It's like, what are we what are we doing well, Mac looks good throwing the ball. Like, I mean, the the balls are pretty much on target. He missed a couple deep ones, but didn't mi miss him by like a ton. Like, it's no, like but a step. the problem is the front. Like, who yeah. the heck? He was hit it ten was, times. I think eleven times. So, like ten or eleven times, he actually times hit. was hit, and then there was and like fourteen pressures. I think. I, know, I think. So it was, that's wasn't it eighteen pressures? So there's like okay, figure. He threw the ball fifty times. So of that fifty, oh, about a, half. A half he had somebody in his face or yeah. like was getting hit that's unacceptable yeah he definitely didn't get helped out at all like Jameis winston almost gifted the patriots the game a couple times and they just couldn't take advantage you know when duger came up for that sack he didn't he didn't go for the ball Jameis just had the ball out here he just wrapped them yeah it was just worried with that and then that throw into the back of the end zone that james they were the and the thing is is for how bad they look they were in it up until pretty much the fourth quarter. If they get that stop on third yeah. and like eight. So the two missed field goals, like they literally were in the game until the end and then all of a sudden. Yeah, so the big problem with the team is Josh McDaniels right now. It's the play calling. But what is that? Is that confidence? Is that confidence? Like not trying it's to like overload the rookie? In, but I mean, is it really overloading the rookie when you're down by 14 to throw the ball down the field? Run, you know, <laughs> why are you running... 
three wide receiver personnel when you don't have three wide receivers, really. I don't know. And you have two of the best the best free agent tight ends, and they're not out there together. So Tom Tom Brady came out and said that he he knows what the pregame meal is. He knows what the the defense is going to be. He knows what the stadium's going to feel like. He knows everything about what oh, it's going to so happen. Excited. What is going to happen? Is he going to throw over under? Tom Brady throws for four touchdowns. Over under under. You're going under for under. it. Because the, the problem with I the, bet you I, you know what I don't think Gronk is going to play in this game. I don't think he's going to. I mean, he took a shot. Yeah, in the game. he it's looks like he, he's he he's probably not going to play. They have Richard Sherman playing now. To sign I mean, him today. What's Richard Sherman going to do? Yeah, like, I hope they put him in there. Yeah, I me mean, too. Just burn him. <laughs> yeah. Do you think they can win this game? Oh, man, it's going to be tough. They can win the game if number one, they don't have bad p- football plays. False starts on fourth and one, block punts, kicking it out of the freaking out of bounds on the kickoff, uh, holding calls, major hold. Like they had a holding call. There was like one good positive play, and they had to yeah. bring it back for a holding call. And it's an irrelevant holding call. It's irrelevant. Like it's, you know, it's like, like you didn't need to. Why? Why yeah. hold? Yeah. You know. I just don't understand why they won't slide uh, Omanawi, maybe I'm butchering his last name, over to right tackle and put Karras in at guard so you don't have to put Heron in there anymore. I, Omanawi I, played right tackle last year. It's not... I don't know. It's very confusing, but it's don't you concerning. Put your best off, but don't you put your best offensive linemen as your tackles if they're big yeah, enough? Yeah, you do. And Omanawi's big enough but then, to play tackle. But also, too, like the thing that could possibly be like affecting the tight ends and their routes is having to stay in and chip and help and protect yeah. and all that stuff but then fix it by moving your best lineman that's big enough to play tackle yeah no, move I him agree. to right tackle i agree i think what they should do is move him to right tackle well bring, trent bring hopefully trent trent back, Bra- but, trent's back but i'd bring trent back and put him at left tackle and then slide I, as well, a win in. some sometimes them guys can't flip sometimes but he played those, left tackle though i know but sometimes it's hard because it's like a yeah you know then you struggle a little bit and then struggle bus oh oh we're in trouble it can't be any worse I mean, this was supposed to be the strength of the Patriots was their offensive line. And their supposed defense. To be strength. Their Deep. secondary scares me a little bit. I don't – their secondary has some good moments and then poor it's, moments. It's just because J.C. just goes for the ball every time. His I mean, number it, one they goal gotta, is to get What do you think is going to happen with Gilmore? Do you think they're going to bring Gilmore back? Or yeah, you think Gilmore's back. They're going to pay him? If you're Gilmore, do you want to play or just like, eh? I think he'll play. Cause he ha- but he has to because if he wants to get that next contract, he has to I don't prove think he's healthy. He, has, yeah, he didn't lose true. a step. That's true. So I think How about Jamie Collins him. just getting released? Well, he needs to buy Matty P a Rolex. Yeah, no, he keeps like he, <laughs> for twenty-five 16, grand or twenty-five million. No, 20 he million? made twenty million dollars for sixteen games. Yeah, but not a bad deal. You know what? One of it's going to make eight point eight million this year. Why would you play? Like, like oh yeah, cut me. Uh, let me see. Make eight million. Eight eight man. Go play. Get beat up. Have to take tour all. Maybe bruised up. Feeling terrible. Nah, I'm going to go to the beach. He's going to play. He's got to play for the next contract because he keeps doing it. He gets, uh, he gets signed, true. gets you know, yeah. plays well, signs a big contract, and then doesn't play. I mean, you have to. But Man, that must there's be nice. two big problems with the defense, though, and one of them might be a little bit of a surprise. No, it's the rotation. No. What, what, one of the major problems is Hightower is two steps too slow right now. The problem I see is that the defense on first, second, and third down rotates. You don't have a group of guys that can play first, second, and third down. Just like last year, it was the same you do, thing. Though, you just, yeah, but they're, they're not, not doing it. Doing it. Yeah. So they need to figure it out. Like, okay, who are our best run stoppers on first, second, third down that we feel we can keep out here? Yeah. And then bring in some rabbits package or light guys for dime or nickel or whatever. But well, it's like Van Noy only played like fifty percent of the snaps, but he's probably. He, he probably is the best overall linebacker they have that can cover, rush, do it all. Not on that angle route. I'm kidding. Yeah. Joking, Kyle. Don't but get upset. He released him inside, though. There was supposed yeah, to be somebody there. Yeah, but, I mean, there's probably help. Judon would pro- was probably supposed to help, but it's not like a true well, It's not like a true vice where you're trying to double. That leads me to my second big problem with the defense, and this is well, going to be controversial. No, it's See, controversial because everybody thinks he's doing great. I think Judon is a problem right now for the defense because he's he all he's doing is rushing. 
I mean, I, I think, well, you paid him for a reason. You paid him to get to the quarterback. But then you have to design the defense with that in mind because he's missing the coverages. He's missing the dropbacks. Like, just think about this, right? So when on that played, angle route, on that angle route, I, I would assume that he had the back. So, like, they were two for one on the back. Be, it was supposed to be double coverage. So, on the two back. for one on the back. Yeah. So, the back, if the back goes to Judon. He picks him up to the yep. flat. If the back comes to Kyle, he picks him up. But yep. if he runs the angle, then they both use uh, one. They, they inside, it, one's outside. Yeah, no, it, it's not an in and out because he's running an an angle route, which is an option route. Like he could run to the flat. He saw Kyle there. He turned it up on the inside. But then they had a shallow cross by a tight end that was man to man by the safety. So usually they tell you like body presence, the crosser, body presence as far as like just. Ward off that quick, easy crossing route because if he throws it to the tight end instantly, usually that safety needs a little bit of time to get through the traffic. Yeah. So it's like body presence, then go help. So Judon took a couple steps out, which that's the issue. He could have – that's a play where you can steal one because yeah. the quarterback's looking at the angle. He doesn't he, see you. Judon and you could up. just – you could literally bait it like, yeah. oh, shit, he's running the angle. I'm going to go get the ball right now and just – Beeline for the beeline for the junction point, and you can go get it. But yeah. it didn't happen. They that's scored. the thing that's not happening, though. That's where they're not really playing well together. On that, they're not understanding what needs to go on on the field. But I think also too that like last year, the problem that they had on defense was they didn't have the they didn't have guys that were in the system a long time. So they didn't they couldn't keep everybody in a in a certain position and say this is what you're supposed to do. And then or if you have to switch, you gotta do his job, then you know what to do too. So then a bunch of moving parts. Like you could play inside, you could play outside, you could play nickel, you could play dime, you could play base, you could play hippo, you could play rhino, you could play goal line, all that stuff. Now they have a lot of guys that haven't been here, so it's hard to like you know the Raven system was like just run, just like yeah. it wasn't the way Bill likes to play defense. It's more disciplined. It's more um, this is how we're gonna stop the run. It's gap on. It's it's two gapping men person. It's like two two gap mentality with a single gap scheme. And I know that sounds silly, but that's the way Bill likes to coach it. It's hard to get these young guys to get up to speed quick enough. You know, you got guys out there playing, and I think they brought up. A practice squad guy, and he's out there. Played over like, Hightower at the end there. That's ridiculous. But that, that's the problem, though, is I think that they're trying to hold on a little bit too much to the guys they have and then not discipline the other guys. Just think about this. When you played, if you if you could do what Judon's doing right now, how many sacks would you have had? A lot more. You dropped in coverage 50% of the time, 60% I of the time? Uh, I mean, I, there was a good amount, but third downs I was pretty much going. But And then we started doing like a lot of swap coverage stuff. So that was like me taking a high or Jamie's coverage, and they blitz up over the back, which it's matchups. You're trying to get that. But, you know, both those guys got paid heavily because they rushed on the back, you know. <laughs> so covering the flat I'm route. covering the flat route. It's like, <laughs> uh, okay, I could pass rush in that. I could beat that tackle, but it's okay. You know, let them rush on the backs. Yeah, the uh... – so I, I we we talked briefly before, but you didn't see the new uh, Seth Wickerman. Yeah, what story. is that? What is he's, like the he's what's the new book? What's the take on it? What's the what's the big like? Um, so basically, it was the reason why Brady left was because he was tired. He was tired of taking less money and then having no decision on where that money was spent. Oh, well, that's interesting. Yeah, because they could have gave me a little more. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, maybe hey, they did. Low, but, oh, look, cool. Only unranked condition is a most recent pay stub. Oh, cool. Awesome. Sorry, I just got some good news. We just bought a new house. It's amazing. Um, what? You gonna drop more money into it? Oh gosh. <laughs> hey, anyone that's watching, <laughs> if you would really like to paint my house. I'm a, I, you know, I'll pay fair wage, but I got a price quote and I almost fell over. I felt like my pants, I felt like I woke up and I was, my pants were on around my ankles and I was like bent over around the table. And I looked around like, what happened to me? What happened to me? I'm feeling pain. <laughs> I, and I, and I didn't know, like that. somebody uh, drugged me. I told you it would be that it was going to be big money. You don't want to listen to me. But the other, another big thing came out of it was that Kraft told people he knows 
and uh, we've already have the explicit rating, so I'll say the exact thing he said, um, that he once called Bill Belichick the biggest fucking asshole in my life. Wow. There's another one that um, uh, Belichick and Mangini almost got into a fist fight at a coach's meeting. Really? Yep. That that Mangini had to be restrained. Oh, wow. That'd be a heck of a fight. Just two old geezers just like, hey, I'll get you. (laughs) No, but they don't. I mean, coaches don't fight except for Pepper Johnson. Don't mess with that guy. Pepper Johnson and Junior Seau at one point were in the locker room and had a disagreement and decided that the only way to settle it was to go fight and not only fight, but leave the facility and go outside and fight. It's like that, hey, let's take it outside. That means you're old. When you say, <laughs> let's take this thing outside, and I'm really going to give you a sock in the you're, eye. You're going to get up there and start like Yeah, this. like, <laughs> like bare knuckle boxing. Let's take it outside. Let's take it outside. <laughs> And then you with that Irish, hey, come on, I'm gonna give you that suck, I'm suck you, hey, 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 hey. That's what I mean. yeah. Um, but then we, you know, we broke it up. Everyone broke it. Up. I wasn't there. It's a story I heard. But they broke it up. They broke it up. It didn't happen. But you know, we've had instances of people fighting. B. Flo, Brian Flores used to be a player. So the players are the hotheads. Yeah. B. Flo used to, you know, I saw a couple scuffles with B. Flo with players. And I can see B. Flo like choking a guy. No, up. he's nuts. He's yeah. nuts. Another big, big bombshell on this, which was let's everyone's be got the bomb sh- uh, bombshells. Let's be thankful this one didn't happen. That Bill O'Brien thought he was going to become. He was trying to get fired in the Texans to become the successor to Bill Belichick in New England. I mean, how does that work? That just sounds like it's this Seth Wickerman guy. He's I the mean, one that came Seth out with Wickerman, all this stuff. I mean, it sounds like erroneous speaking he's a, he's a colleague erroneous he's a colleague i don't care seth listen i could come up with a bunch of shit too and it, i could come up with stuff that might actually be factual but i keep it close to my te- my chest because i don't need like these like everything's coming out with all these crazy like this is gonna happen that's gonna happen and that the reason for malcolm butler's benching was uh maddie p uh. Matty P. Because he got into it with Matty P at, at the walkthroughs in practice that week, mm-hmm. and that Matty P decided to bench him. There's a I thing don't know in if here that's true either. That Belichick and Goodell are like best friends. I mean, I'm sure there has to be something. Guy, like, you have to like shake the guy's hand, right? He's the I commissioner mean, he, of the league. He makes the owners money, and who pay the coaches? The owners. Yeah. Goodell is a great overseer of everything because he makes money for the owners the owners have become billionaires because of the way the league has gone so you know mr mr craft went out and borrowed uh money from the bank and turned it into five billion bucks great awesome good yeah. job it's another one too that um this one's kind of disturbing uh that the team owners tried to negotiate the 2011 collective bargain agreement with union chief demoris smith at myra craft's funeral no. What's saying here? Jeez. And that. Well, uh, that they're, Smith they're really worried down. about players' health and safety, huh? Like, they <laughs> no. got no souls. Like, get the hell out of here. None of them do. Mm-mm. That, uh, I mean, it's just weird, this whole, like, article. It, like, bounces from, like, these things. It goes from, like, why Brady left to that he didn't like the spotlight even in 2001 at the Super Bowl because he got chased around by people that wanted to talk to him and like it just bounces all over the place. I mean, yeah, but it's he wants to be the new is. Jordan brand. Like Tom You're going to get some Brady barrel, huh? Uh, hell yeah. Give me that Brady loafer. <laughs> Give me that Brady heard, loafer with the tassel on it. I heard that he's supposed to have like a jacket that's supposed to be like a thousand bucks or something I like that. I don't know. I I mean, if he gets it, if he sends it to me for free, I'll wear it. You'll buy it. I would never buy it. You'll buy it. I won't. I don't buy things that I don't feel Stop. are. Stop. You'll buy it. No, nope, I won't do it. Yeah. It probably won't fit me. It's probably Euro cut. Euro. <laughs> probably actually mm-hmm. is. <laughs> Euro cut. You Guess never... what Euro cut is? Fat guy in a little coat. Did you ever try the Brady diet? I think you did. No, I did not. Stop. Do I look like a Brady diet guy? Did you go to TB12? I'm drinking Heidi Toppers, TV and I'm in an XLT, well, and I still this got is, guns. This is after your career. I'm saying during your career. You didn't go to Ellis Guerrero, Guerrero yeah, I went anything? to him for massaging, but I, you know, I'm sure is they would have. called muscle elongation? I'm sure they would have told me that if you get on our program, you will play and live longer. And they told I, you that, though, didn't they? Yeah, and I said, well, is it going to prevent me from 
getting my uh, bell rung 17,000 times a year? No, thank you. I'm good. Thank you. I'm retired. Thank you. So you don't think they have a chance to win this game? Um, there's always a chance. I'm never going to say never, but it's going to be hard because it's not – I said this today on television. It's not Tom Brady versus Bill Belichick. Bill yeah. Belichick isn't out there in a helmet and shoulder pads, but yeah. if he was, I'd love to see it. Just you see him out there like – yeah. Um, just it's hell with it's, the helmet, Brady. It's the Patriots. Brady would get the best of them. Um, it's the Patriots team versus the Tampa Bay Bucks team. Tom Brady's not making a tackle. Tom Brady's not doing any punt protection. Tom Brady's not doing any kickoffs. So there's a lot of other things that go into the like the whole category of a win or a loss just like the rams beat the hell out of tampa bay they ran for like five yards or something like they're gonna have to play better as a team i don't think tampa is that good this year comparatively like their defense they just have a lot of they have a lot of options offensively but the defense is not as good as last year their secondary is terrible defense you can get away with not having a great defense in 2021 didn't work against the rams no but i'm saying like if if your offense is clicking but, and but Tom's looking good, you can't win a Super Bowl good. without a defense, though. No, no, I agree with that. Defense yeah. wins championships all day. Yeah, I mean that's that's what it was last year. For yep, me. yep. It wasn't the offense that won that Super Bowl? It was the defense. Mm-hmm. It was crushing Mahomes. What about that too? That Mahomes now, you know, they're in last place in the AFC West. I did see that. I did see that. Um, yeah, and it's odd they're in an odd spot, but it's also hey. three games. I mean, you get that contract, hey. Yeah. Get- Oh, I'm, part really of the full. Royals. I'm really full, fat and happy. Maybe they're fat and happy. Everybody on there is paid now. Are they? Yeah. There's Everybody. A coming up. No, I mean, Kelsey's paid. Tyreek's paid. Mahomes is half a bill. Like Your boy Tooney's paid. Tooney's paid. Yeah. Biggest dome I've ever seen. I, first time I saw Tooney after he got drafted, he's walking down the hallway. I go, holy shit, that guy's got a head on him. I'm not touching him. He's going <laughs> to. Wow, hit you in the head. So what do you think on when Brady comes back, right, there's there's Patriots fans have one or two things they can do, right? They can cheer or boo him. They're going to cheer. The whole game? I think so. There's people that they they name their child Brady around here. There's Brady's, and I'll be like, Brady. You see what Ty Law said? What did he say? He said that you're if you can cheer for him before the game, but once the game happens, if you cheer for him, you're not a Patriots fan. You're a Fairweather fan. I'm coming full to uni. Ninko 50, pads, helmet, full get up. What do you think? But what are you, who are you cheering for then? Myself. Oh, yourself? Yeah. Or you can cheer for the new number 50. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to see. What if you saw Ninko? What if you saw Ninko? Talking in third person now. What if you saw Ninko full geared out, pants, shoulder pads, helmet, full game uniform, still got it all, full unit up in the parking lot, catching passes. Asking people, you want me to sack you? You want me to sack you? Go drop back. You want to block me? Try and block me. You want to block me? Try and block me. You should do it. I'm going yeah. to jump you know the game. You know what? I'm- I'll probably have, if you posted anything, do you know how many comments would say, definitely CTE. Definitely brain trauma. Yeah. Definitely. I'm going to wear, I'm going to take a Ninkovich jersey and then put tape over the, the, the Nink part. And yeah. just write Wino. We know that a lot of people have done that. Yeah, they just replaced me. Um, what, do you, what do you think when you see that, though? I that's just gotta, I say I you. say yeah, that does suck. I mean, geez, <laughs> that's got to aggravate you, though. If my last name was Johnson, it'd be a lot different. But uh, no, this uh, he's terrible, by the way. Who's that? What a bitch. No, come on, let's not say that. He's a young kid. He's still trying to learn. I don't think he's terrible. There's not there's there's a lot of factors that go into trying to come here i'm trying to look up this guy's name i was looking up old boxing clips you anyway. have like there's four or five guys on the team you'd rather have in there than winovich uh, who uh, he uh, had obviously a... obviously you'd rather have judon kyle oh, van judon Noy. they just paid kyle's kyle been here a long time yep uh the rookie's uche. inactive uche is a, like his little spark plug so he's like a but good... you'd rather have him in there than winovich in in what in what Capacity though. What can, like, what can Winovich do though? He can rush he can the rush. passer, and that's it. I mean, he's good. He, I would put Winovich in a four-three system, hand down on the ground, one gap, rips, long sticks, games. I would say if you are taking on somebody, you're wrong. What do you mean? 
if you're taking someone on thick, because in the Patriots scheme, you have to take people on. Like if a guy's pulling, if a fullback's coming for you, if but, a tight end's coming for you, you have to hit him thick. Your inside eye on his outside eye. Like, yeah, you have to be 260, benching 455, which, you know, I was. Um, big and strong. You have to be a big dude to do that. Winovich, is, that's not his game. I would say, Winovich, if the guy's pulling for you, uh-uh, hit him with a two-piece, get underneath him, and go make the play. So when the guy's pulling, act like you're going high, come underneath him, dip your shoulder, rip up to the sky, and the running back's going to be right there. You're going to make a TFL. You can't – you have to, like, certain – it's just like when you when you think about the Bears and Nagy and, like, how they're going to keep the same system for whoever quarterback's in there because that's the way they do it. Like, the Patriots need to ad- address, like, okay, we have some undersized guys. We have some quick guys. We don't have the big bodies we have to anymore, so let's go to a 4-3 spill defense, which you can't say spill in any of Bills and it's spill anyone listening. It's If a guy's coming for you, you just get underneath them and you spill it and you hope the ball bounces. And then the bounce guy, somebody else is running for him. So that's how I played in high school. That's how I played in college. That's the best way to play. If I was coaching football, there's two things I want. I want you to not think about one. I don't want you to think. I want you to just to play, and I want you to play fast, and I want you to get to the ball. Those are my three things. Get to the football. Don't think. Play fast. That's it. That's it. I don't want you to freaking be like, oh, what's the rotation, and where's the backfield, and what's two by two. The best defense is get after the quarterback fast, like 1-1,000, one, 2-1,000. One thousand, thousand. Oh, shit, I got to make a decision. And their coverage plays well. That's it. So that's football. Simple. It's the simplest thing in the world. Defense, me and Pat Graham talked about this all the time. Pat Graham. Love Pat Graham. He's with the Giants. Ugh, the Giants aren't doing great. but <laughs> Not good at all. They just lost one of their inside linebackers, ACL, bad. Um, Martinez. But I'd always say, why why are we overthinking this? Like, you're paralyzing people by analyzing. Is a paralysis, I would say paralysis by overanalysis, paralysis by overanalysis. Just play fast. If you play fast. You know how many plays I made freelancing? None. Most of them. And And... When you make it, they can't say anything to you. Yeah, but what happens if you don't make it? You get your ass bitched out. Yeah. But if you make more than you miss, they can't take you off the field. So perfect perfect example. If you talk to McCourty or Hightower, say, hey, if you gave Ninkovich a call, would he always do it? <laughs> They'd be like, no, no. He would freelance or do something else. Perfect example. We're playing uh, Denver at home, the windy game. We're was we went into overtime and we won. Hightower gave me a rip call, which what a rip call is, is I'm coming inside on the tackle. I instantly, I, I looked at the split of the tackle. The tackle was heavy on the guard. He had a tight split sitting, looking at me. I'm like, all right, there's a half inch split between him and the guard. He know if I go in there, I'm just going to get washed and I'm going to look like an idiot. Like I'm going to look stupid. I'm going to jab step him inside and I'm going to run outside and I'm going to go make a play. Jab stepped him. He stepped down. He thought I was coming inside. I ran around him, got to Peyton Manning, got the ball off of him, strip fumble on like the 15 or 20. And I came off the field. They said, what happened? I said, what do you think happened? I made a fucking play. Ball was, that's our ball. We scored. We just went up like seven points or whatever. Like football at the end of the day is it's a, it's a chess match, but it's also a setup. So that's, that's another thing about like playing consistent downs you set guys up for moves that are going to work later in the game so if you play i i would play every snap and if i didn't play every snap i probably wouldn't be very good because i'd play the first snap the 10th snap the 30th snap the 40th snap the 60th snap on the first few snaps i might be like i'm gonna set this guy up i'm gonna be heavy on my power i'm gonna be heavy on the power he's really not gonna think that i can get on the edge because i'm gonna be a power guy and then when i get on the power i hit the edge and then the guy goes falling on his face and he's like what the hell how the hell do you get around me it's a setup you're setting up your moves another thing i've done before is big dudes come out big tackles or tight ends they think they're gonna road grade you i say you think you can fucking block me you bitch 
and they look at me oh, <laughs> uh, oh fall on your face tfl thank you like i'm not gonna run through you you think i'm gonna run through you i said i was gonna run through you but you think winovich can do all that i think or you can olay think people way? or even think that way well it's how you, it's your mentality of how you think That's you have to just think like i'm gonna go make a play but the problem is when you only have 15 or 20 snaps and you have a couple that are bad, then they're like, we can't play this guy. So you like, I might have had 60 or 80 snaps in a game. I'm going to be honest. I might have like five or 10 bad. And you're like, oh, but then the other 50, I'm like, oh, shit, like this dude's playing well. So you can't like it's it's very subjective. Like defense is all about. So like Judon, for example, nothing against Judon. He had a sack against Taysom Hill. Nah. Yeah, they get one against Winston too. Like, wh- he had a two and a half sack game. I'm gonna give him credit for that. But if you put Taysom yeah. Hill on me, I'm gonna beat the I'm gonna beat the hell out of Taysom Hill right now, and I'm retired. He's a quarterback, just like Tim Tebow. Well, he's not really a quarterback. He's he's not. He's is he's what like he is. In betweener. He's an in betweener. But yeah. he's still not a blocker. He's yeah. not a guy that gets paid to stop me. Yeah. Guys that get paid to stop me. Dwayne Browns, Trent Brown. Uh, freaking Lane Johnson. Those yeah. dudes get paid a lot of money to make sure that me, like my body, does not come anywhere close to his their quarterback. You want to put a, a tight end or a, like a hybrid person over me? Good luck, peace. Yeah. So, you know those plays are great, but I want to see him on starting high caliber tackles. Yeah, that's Boy, how you yeah. get paid. That's how you get, and then like you know, Bill would always say, "Well, is he who's he doing it against?" Yeah, you know. Well, the one thing I was told that one of the issues with the defense is is that um, it's intelligence. Well, there's a lot of guys that come from programs that they didn't have to yeah, know where anything straight. was. <laughs> yeah. So, but that was my when I was in college, my at Purdue, it was literally I was like a golden retriever, ball, ball, go. Like that's all it was. See ball, get ball. That's it. Didn't know about splits or, you know, formations or backfield or depth of the running back. Nasty split. Where are we at on the field? Nothing. I would just get my hand on the ground, look at the ball, and get off. Yeah. Get off. That was the biggest thing. Get off on the football. That was it. So... The, what I was told with it is is that the team is very athletic. It's more athletic than it's ever been. So they need defense, to change their scheme. But the intelligence isn't there. So they need to simplify. Yeah. Go to like a New York Giant defense back in when they were beating the Patriots in the Super Bowl where it was one to four plays, cover one, cover two, cover three, all stunts, fast, yeah. rips, falcon blitzes, well, zone blitzes, all that. Yeah, that's what I mean. I, I think I'm just hoping it's not wasting enough time trying to teach teach this defense, you know, all these different schemes, and it's going to take too long for them to get it, as opposed to what yep. you just said is simplifying it down. But I think you have to simplify it down against the Buccaneers because if you overcomplicate yep. it, Brady's going to pick you apart. When yep. you when you miss the cover, you miss the coverages, miss every, everything on it. He's just going to destroy you. So who are you pulling for in this game? Like who who is Rob Nikovich rooting for in this game as a fan? That's a tough one. I'm rooting for my friends that I know to do well. I don't know. I'm asking. Are you rooting for Tom Brady or the New England Patriots? What are you rooting for on the spot right now? Oh come on! Why are you putting me on the spot? Uh, I'm rooting for. The New England Patriots to win because I live in Foxborough and I live here. I want them to win, but I don't want to see Tom like not do well. <laughs> I want to see the Patriots win, but I want to see Tom. Brady I want to have see a nice Tom game. have a nice game. <laughs> a nice game. <laughs> what do you want me to say? I want Tom to be bad. Like, come on, like, come on. You can't be on the fence. It's, it's. I'm on the want? fence. I'm literally like this. If it took, if it took Tom Brady getting injured for the Patriots to win, are you okay with that? No. That's a, you want Tom Brady to get hurt? I didn't say that. Go I'm on the record saying, and say that. I'm not saying I Car want sales. that. Car sales. I'm not saying I want that. I'm just saying that if it came down to it, it's like what Pepper jo- – uh, not Pepper Johnson. Ivan Fear said yesterday, love Tom Brady, great guy and everything. You know, but that – I think he said like that uh, – that motherfucker or whatever. I hope he did we, not we say that. Something, it was something like that. I'm not kidding. Yeah, he hopes that he. 
There's no other quarterback in the NFL or the any. There's no other quarterback that I would want to hit more than Tom Brady. And like you would, you would, I would baptize would. his ass. No, I would wouldn't. just give him the yeah. I love Tom Brady. Always have, but right now that son of a bitch is the enemy. <laughs> He's the enemy. Not for you. I just don't want to see him like go out there and tear an ACL. I want to yeah, see. Yeah, but I mean, he's got like you know got his bell rung. That's football. Knocked over the game. That's that's. So that's, you're, you're okay with that? He got knocked they, over the game. Alex would go do a little thing on him in the halftime, <laughs> and he'd come back out and just be, I'm good, I'm good. I drank water. Hyperbaric chamber. Quick. Yeah, yeah. He's, he'd be drinking hydrated. He's fine. You don't you don't realize you don't get concussions when you're hydrated. Yeah. What do you think Brady will do though when they uh, <laughs> when. Uh, he breaks the passing record. He only needs like 70 yards or something like that. You think, oh, that's that it? The, yeah. Oh, shit. That's <laughs> it here? He's going to do the record here? Yeah. He was oh, 499 going boy. into the game, going into, into the Rams game. He threw for like 400 yards, didn't he? 400 and something. Yeah. So it's less than 100 yards. So he's going to break the record here. You think he's going to tear up a little bit if they stop? No, I don't think he'll Belichick either. comes out, gives him the football. <laughs> Spike it in him. Get out of here. <laughs> they retire his number right before the game. They need to do something to get in his that, head. That's what they, they need to have do. his kids out there on the field. I know. Don't tell them, like, you know. Yeah. Just have them all parade out. Yeah. Parents. Papa, papa, yeah. papa, you won. So what do you think now about all, I mean, this week is going to be all about Boston talk radio saying that the, we, that the Patriots should fire Bill Belichick. Oh, God. Shut up. Just. <laughs> is that the worst take ever? Talking heads are so stupid, and yeah. I'm one of them, I what guess. What about Shannon Sharp's take? What did he say? About the Patriots. Go, 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 go. What do you say? That if Cam Newton was a starting quarterback, they'd be three and zero right oh, now. Oh God! Yeah, with that offensive line, like, come on, Shane. Well, he'd be able to run the ball. How? They didn't run the ball with who? It's different. Though. Cam did it last year. Who the are they going to run the ball? Greatest. Like they didn't Him, look great. Himself. They. That's Cam. He would have been hurt by week three. No, he wouldn't. That's what they, you said. Well, last then go year. sign him. Go sign him. Go see if he wants to go play. He's you, not playing anywhere. He's a free agent. You knew it was a mistake to start him right now, to, to start Mac. No, it yes. wasn't a mistake. He was just hit 50. You just said he was hit 25 out of 50 snaps. Hold the ball too long. Quarterbacks throw football. Hold the ball too long. If quarterbacks, look, quarterback, hit the thing. Dang, boom, hit the thing. <laughs> That's what I you're supposed to do. Too. Ready? Let me show you. Cam Newton, <laughs> out of bounds. Like, you throw it accurately. That's yeah, what it accurately. quarterbacks it do. It interceptions. Three interceptions. Three interceptions, batted football, one, one. interception. Yeah. Bat literally like this. <laughs> there. Get it. Okay, thank you. That's one interception. Other interception. Okay. Hit. Took too long on that one though. No, he did. He took too he long. Got hit. Another pressure. Took too long on that one. Third interception. End of the game. We got a score. <laughs> We're, it's thirty seconds left. Throw it in the end zone. Did Third you see pick. did you see when Mac was sitting on the bench at the end of the game? James Winston came over to find him, you know, to talk to him quick. And then Mac Jones got up and started walking, and Belichick grabbed him by the wrist and pulled him into the locker room. When was that? At the end of the game. <sighs> you didn't see that? No, I didn't. I was just reading. North Korea says it's testing a hypersonic missile. Great. Yeah. Awesome. Great. What an awesome thing. Why are you worried about it? They can't, keep, the, about they can't it. keep their power on. You're worried about a hypersonic missile they're going to do? North Korea? Are you talking about Democrat uh, mobilized to extend the... North Korea. I've been to the DMZ. You were there? Yeah. Oh, cool. Do you know that, that when you look over across the DMZ... Democrats mobilized to extend government sh funding to yeah, avert a shutdown. a shutdown. Okay, it yeah, it's going to shut down. But yeah. when you go to the DMZ and you look across, the North Koreans have these just fake buildings built and like, like uh, cardboard cutouts of people looking happy. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> oh man! Oh, Manny Pacquiao retired. What again? A beast. Da -da. Da -da -da -da. Until somebody pays him twenty million to come out yeah. to fight again. I'd pay me twenty million. I'll go out there and get KO'd. Who cares? Yeah, well, so right, uh, let's take a break. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta take a break. Yeah, take a little break. What time is it? We got. Oh, we got some time. Yeah. All right, we'll be back. Come back. We'll talk about. I don't know. We gotta do our picks. We gotta do our picks. We didn't do them last week. That I'm ahead of you with. Because this guy was in Vegas. Beating the beat. That was on the plane. With Paulie D coming back. Yeah, that's right. He's from Providence. Yeah. Guy gets paid like $5 million per freaking DJ session. Insane. It's not bad. All right, we'll be back. Should be a DJ. Bye.
All right, so we're back. The Dan and Inko Show. I added a, uh, a prop, a little, a prop stage here. Prop. Stage prop with the beard, and I, I taped the Big Mac in his hand. He's so happy that he had a Big Mac. More of a cam guy. Yeah, well, you know, you can cheer for him. and you know, Two and one, three and oh, something like that right now. No. You're... Just keep 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 enjoying. <laughs> but I think it's that I think it's a good time to go into picks now. Yeah, let's do picks. That you're behind in. Picks, picks, picks. All right, so the first game is Thursday night. You get Jaguars at the Bengals. Bleh. Bengals. Yeah, Bengals. 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 All right, this one's a, a one and two teams. Washington football team versus the Atlanta Falcons. I'm going Washington. Yeah, let's go Washington too. I don't let's think do the Washington. Are that good. Just do it. All right, then you're gonna have the Texans versus the Bills at home. Bills, Bills. They are 16 and a half point favorites right now. Wow, don't bet that one. Yeah. Uh, Lions Bears. Oh, that's gonna be. I'm going. What if Lions. Fields have 58 yards last one. week? One. <laughs> what? One net yard. Oh, drink is all sacks. 57 <laughs> yards and sacks. Yeah. So I'm going um, Lions. The only good thing uh, while we're on the fields thing is with Mac Jones is Mac Jones has looked like the best quarterback of yes. the rookie group. Yes, by he like has. A long, by a, by long, a long shot. shot. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm also going to go Lions, I think. I don't think Fields. I never thought Fields was that good. I was hoping they would never trade up for him and get him or anything. We got a good game here. Panthers at the Cowboys. Oh, man. I'm going. How about them Cowboys? Cowboys. Let's go, Cowboys. I'm going to take the Panthers in this one. All right. You're going to lose. <laughs> I think that's a good pick. All right. Then you're going to have the Colts versus the Dolphins. Let's go, Miami. Miami Dolphins. That's it. Miami <laughs> Dolphins. You were, almost a, said, you were a Miami Dolphin. I know. I almost said, let's go, Buffalo. Hey, hey. <laughs> I'm going to take the Colts in that one. I don't believe that's in That's the worst home song. Miami Dolphins, Miami Dolphins, Miami Dolphins, well, number one. Well, if they have Tua there, every time they get a first down, it goes Tua. Tua. Well, not, not for long. <laughs> he won't be playing there next year. Tua. Got a rib. All right. And you got Browns at Vikings. I'm going Browns. That will also go Browns. Browns. And you're going to have Saints, uh, Giants at Saints. I'm going to go Saints. I'm going to go Saints, too. Then you're going to have Titans versus the New York Jets. Titans. Yeah, Titans. Two one and two teams here. Chiefs versus the Eagles. Chiefs. Chiefs. I'm not going against the Chiefs. I know they're... Yeah, I'm going to go Chiefs. Too, too explosive. This is a good game. This one's going to be a tough one. Mm. Mm-hmm. Cardinals at the Rams. Rams. That was quick. Ram Jam. They're both 3-0. and oh. Ram Jam. I'll also go Rams. And you're going to have Seahawks at the 49ers. 49. Your second man crush, 49ers. Jimmy Garoppolo. He's a good-looking guy. I'm going to take the Seahawks on this good-looking guy. I'm taking the Seahawks. Okay. Ravens at Broncos. It's not a good game. I'm going Ravens. I'll take the Broncos 66-yard field goal. Imagine that. I'll take the Broncos. Or how about that 60, the 60-plus 60 yarder attempt at uh, the Jaguars? No, had, they got returned for 109 terrible, yards. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Uh, and then you're going to have Steelers at the Packers. Packers! Yeah, Packers. Uh, this is a good game. Raiders at the Chargers. 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 I think the Raiders are pretenders. Then it brings us to the heartstring game for Rob Ninkovich. You're going to have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers coming to New England, the return of Tom Brady. This one The hurts. books that have come out, the records that are going to be this broken. This one uh, hurts. This one hurts. I can't wait for you to make this pick. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't pick because I'm working the game. So you're not working the game. Yeah, I'm working. I'm working for Verizon. That had nothing to do with the upcoming <laughs> game. <laughs> I'm going Tampa. Tampa. Anna. What? Tampa. Bay. Tampa you need to make Bay. sure this is very clear for the records and everything. Tampa Bay. You're you're taking Tampa Bay. I'm taking Tampa. You're, you're siding with Tom Brady, the traitor. He's not a traitor. I asked you to get Trader Aid for this show. Come we on. couldn't even get Trader Aid yeah, for it. Yeah, I got it. better. Get better. If Trader Aid would have been better. You were just afraid to drink it. It's not Tom versus the freaking Bill. It's the freaking teams. And I think the Tampa's a better team at the moment. But why are they the better team? Because they have better players. Which is there a particular player in, in that you're thinking of that's a better player? Yeah. Sue. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> White, the linebacker. 
He has not been very good uh, at all. Freaking uh, <laughs> the receiving core. Antonio Brown. The tight, end, the tight ends. Antonio Brown has not passed the COVID protocol. As of this How morning. does he still have COVID for two weeks? I don't know. I mean, you maybe know he actually he w- is sick. Oh, maybe he is sick. Oh, shit. Maybe he's sick, sick. I will take the New England Patriots in this game by a field goal. Can we go and put a bet on it? I think yeah. I want to put a thousand bucks on New England to win. How much would that get me? What's the what's the line right now? Seven and a half. So if they win straight up, how much would I win if I put a thousand in? What's the what's the I don't, I don't what know are what the odds? Are. Th- those odds can't be that great if they're a seven and a half point favorite. Yeah, no, that's why I want to freaking put some money on it. It's it's gonna be. It would be. I'll put a thousand bucks on it. Yeah, but you only make like three hundred bucks, probably. How? Unless For the you Patriots took, unless to win. Unless Plus you the took points. the bucks winning by seven and a half. No, I want the Patriots to win. Oh, the Patriots to if win. If I take the Patriots, not the Bucks. Yeah, Same. it should be like one to one. So if, as long as the Patriots lost either one or lost by less than seven and a half, you'd win. Mm. But you just said Tampa's going to win. Yeah, I think they're going to win, but I'll still put money on the Pats. Why not? Have you actually bet on football ever? No. Yeah. So <laughs> like, 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 I'm going to do this. Is what I normally I do. Don't, I don't. I don't like to because I know how stupid the game can be because people. S- come in one week and they look great and the next week they suck I can't believe you're going to take the Buccaneers what do you want me to do here I'm I'm a realist I'm a realist you you love Mac Jones and I love Corvettes actually how about this this is a good question right here would you take right now if you were building a team like you were the GM of the New England Patriots and you had a choice to get Tom Brady at his current state, current age, everything. With everybody that they have? No, no, the if you're building a team, if you, where you're saying one player, you're going to start your franchise off and you got to pick a quarterback, and your choices are whatever he is, 44-year-old Tom Brady this or sucks. Max Jones. I'm going with Tom because I could build the team. Just like what the Bucks did, they built a team around Tom. They, they didn't build any Bowl. team around him. They had the team they already. Had he the went team. to the team. All right, so if I have a team where I have the talent of the Bucks and I bring in Tom With or a salary Mac- cap and everything, you get to pay Brady $25 million versus Tom or Mac, Mac Jones, Jones at like $2 million. So if you, okay, so if you put – take the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Yeah. And you say, well, you want Tom Brady or Mac Jones in this? I'm going Tom Brady. That's stupid. Of course. Do you think they still win the Super Bowl last year if Mac Jones was the quarterback? No. Yeah, they do. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers? Yeah. Everybody thinks Brady was so great last year. Oh God. Did you watch him in the Super Bowl? Yeah, he, 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 he did pretty good. He did pretty good. like 150 yards. Still better than the other guy. Cam Newton threw for more yards than most games. You know what? Go start a team with Cam Newton. Okay. <laughs> I didn't say that. I'm asking. I'm asking a logical question. Everybody I would take, is so. I have nothing I against Jones. Cam Newton. I would take, All yes, I you did do. was watch. Oh, football. you have everything against. Cam I Newton. have. I watched the game with a an eye for what I saw as a football player. That's all. You want your quarterback to make good decisions, to throw the football accurately, and to put the team in the great in a in a position to win. Sometimes the team can't do that for you because you have a poor offensive line or you have poor receivers. I understand that. But you have to be able to throw. That's number one. Okay? That's number one. you got to be able to throw. Got to throw. Can Tom Brady beat Tom Brady without throwing the ball accurately? No. No. Every great quarterback is accurate. That's it. End of story. Every great quarterback is accurate? Mm-hmm. Like that's the biggest thing you're looking for? Accuracy. You have to be able to throw the football. Yes. Who's calling me? But I just don't understand how you would you would take a forty three year old quarterback who has like two years left maybe versus the young kid that you love so much in Mac Jones. I just like Mac Jones because he's on the roster and he was drafted here and that's the future. Uh, that's why I like Mac Jones. You bring a guy in, he that's has a great camp saying, though. Like, he's very smart, he's intelligent. So Everybody out there, Wiggy, about Mac Jones. Like, go bring in, bring in your boy, bring in Cam. See what would happen. It's the same. It's the same stuff. I just saw a comment from your dad <laughs> on what <laughs> one of the videos. Oh yeah, here. about your open hand smack. Yes, sir. Open hand slap startled the fuck out of jerks. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Startle him. No, he's my Pretty dad's funny. nuts. He's on his way. Yeah, he'll be here today. Oh, from Chicago? Driving? Yeah. yeah. Bringing Brody? Brody's the return. here. Brody's here almost. The return? The return. You're page, been, are you page. waiting? 
Paige is, is not happy about that. What, Paige. that he's returning? Yeah, my mom really wants him. My mom is, like, super attached to him right now. Oof. Yeah. Kind of crazy. So we'll but see. But Paige doesn't want him? Paige does not want him. <laughs> Paige does not want him. Has he calmed down at all? I got to snip his nuts. You snip my nuts, I'll calm down. I got to snip his nuts. I got to calm him down. But I got to wait a little bit because you want him to be a little bit more masculine. You don't want him to be, you know, crossing his legs. <sighs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You want to be a man. You want to be man. You want to be, boom, strong. So what do you think about the Tesla you drove? What was it last week? Fast. That yeah. Tesla's fast, man. Yeah. You rethinking a little bit on electric cars now? I love electric cars. <laughs> no, I don't. Because guess what? I can go five. I can go 500 miles. You can go to 300. And guess what? If you don't have a charging station, you're SOL. I get there faster than you, though. I got a Z06 coming because Chevy guaranteed it. Z06 is coming, and it's gonna take on your Huracan or whatever your your Lambo. It's gonna put it. It's gonna... Wow! What just happened? We That's just broken. lost the mic. All right, the mic. The mic knew you were full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. Oh, everything's broken. Everything's now. falling apart. So I think on that note. We're going to take a little break. Yeah, a little and break. We're, we're going to do a wrap, and we're going to finish it up with some uh, EV versus real motor talk. Stay tuned. So we're back, and the mic will not sever my arm off and if it did you have a great insurance policy because ow my oh my it hurt, you got it insurance hit me right in the arm ow you got the insurance just give me the lambo and we'll make it better. even which huh? lambo the nice one the blue one you can't fit in it no the urus <laughs> give me the urus i want the urus i want the urus i'm trying to tell my wife that i should buy a, a urus but she keeps saying like we didn't we have to paint a house i'm like yeah it's true it's the price of a urus right Probably. <laughs> I got to test drive it. I got to test drive what it. What was the quote that you got? Was that just for the paint? Was that Did that include the paint, though, that you're going to buy? Yeah, and I got a quote to paint my home. It was $90,000. Is that with the paint or plus the paint? That's with the paint. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. It's great. <laughs> yeah. Looks like you bought too big of a house. No. That's so somebody saying, like, I can get this guy. Let's see if he just is like, sure. I said, you know... I'd rather set the house on fire than give you 90000 to paint it. I'm going to go get my shit on, and I'll start painting. Call me Ninko the painter. Just, I'll have the, the roll brush. I'll have the full suit on. I'll paint everything. I can do it. I'm a freaking painter. I, I think that would look pretty bad. I've painted a few things. I saw you painting the rocking chair. Didn't look I that painted great. the rocking chair. Rock chair looks great. I got another one to go, though. I got to get it done before Captain Sano gets in When town. is he supposed to be here? Today. Soon. Gonna go clean your room? Ugh. Dad's gonna be here. Gonna clean my room? Oh, God. I still run up the <laughs> stairs holding my ass. Uh, I'm gonna call him after we're done with this. Captain Insano, ETA. Are you worried? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Robert. Oh, Robert. This this garage is a mess. I was like, God. <laughs> do you really like clean before he comes? Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> like you're rushing out, like mm -hmm. kicking shit under the bed, throwing stuff in the closet. closet. <laughs> you know what he used to do? He'd walk in my room. Imagine how angry he'd be. You gotta pick up this room. He, I'd have like clothes, like folded. He'd <clears throat> throw them. <laughs> 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 I'd have a chair. I'd have a chair, like a desk in my room. I'd have like a jet, like clothes, like something on the back of it. He'd throw the chair down and like have it fold that fold. You gotta pick up this room, Robert. <laughs> throw my clothes throw stuff I'm like you get out of my room well this is my home you're actually in my room <laughs> yeah. but anyway yeah he's great yeah. he might come to the game I don't know you might he might he's he's he's, he's I'm Captain Insano is Wait, closer, worried about bringing him? he's closer to 70 than he is you know 60 so the guy's were you worried about bringing him no I just don't want him to uh it's a lot of walking. You know, he's already, he was an iron worker an for like 40 years. So he's uh, got to get up, you know. It's an elevator. He'll be entertaining. I'm, we might bring him into the, the Dan O'Brien <laughs> suite if we can. He'll, 
he would be fun. You'll have fun. You get him like three of these. Oh man, he'll tell you. Yeah, something. I thought he won't drink these though. He hates them. Yeah. He'll drink he'll whiskey. Drink, he'll drink whiskey, but he won't drink an IPA. Like, come on. What's the difference? Yeah, but he'll just drink like a Bud Light or yeah, something. Yeah, he'll right? drink beer, yeah. yeah. But, uh, so, yeah. I got to I gotta let go of a few cars. Anyone's interested, I'm going to sell a few things. I'm going to sell the 65. I might sell the Hellcat wide body. I might. I'm probably going to sell the, the vet I just got. I mean, it's a great car, but... You know, I might get myself into a Urus, you know, family, get into it. Kids get into it. Go for ice cream. <laughs> you know, it's fun, fast. Might like downgrade to a Urus? Downgrade. Yeah. Downgrade. Well, it's trade. It's, it's you know, three for one. It's three for one. Three for one. What's wrong with that? Yeah, get that little cash and you're good. A little cash. Yeah. Yeah. Just put the, take the house painting money out, out of there. Get a couple sponsors. Get what, a couple were spon what were you thinking the house was going to be to paint? 30. So you're off by sixty grand? No, no. I think this person wanted to take advantage of me. I don't think Did you I, talk to them. Yeah, I, talk, I mean, no. They came to look at the house. No, I'm saying after you got the quote. No, haven't no. said a word. I will say something. I'll just say yeah. No, 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 this is. But it was the quote was also like sanding and smoothing of all walls, like yeah, everything. Yeah. The walls, the ceiling, the trim, the sanding, that's a lot of sanding. I don't Do you want it to look bad? It's the house is newer. It's only a couple years old, doesn't I don't I said don't even touch the trim. Trim's great. Leave the trim. Just paint the walls. Leave the ceiling. Ceiling's great. Just paint the walls. That's like not even third. That might be like oh, So that was 90 grand inside and outside? Yes. But not like the that. outside like the whole house, just the trim, just the white trim. Oh, not the whole house. Not the, the whole house. I think it was the whole house on the outside. I think it wouldn't be that bad of a quote. Yeah. No, it wouldn't if it was everything. Which the sanding that. and everything. I don't know. It's a, it's a lot. When are you planning on moving in? Uh, I don't know because I have a, I, you know, we got to do some hardwood floors. We got to do some painting. We got to do some trim. Like, I don't know. I don't know. When's the interior designer get there? I, fired. Fired? You're Fired. No, not we fired. can do all this. We can do this. I can design. I thought you hired the interior designer. My wife did. Okay. I didn't. That's all, that's done. Done oh, deal. I, I need to go get another job. Have you met them? Do they have an accent? No, I don't think they do. I think they're from Wellesley or something. Like no, like not like English or French no, or something like that? No, they're not from England. <laughs> yeah, it's not oh, you be. sound like you're from London. <laughs> are you excited for Put the interior designer? Put another shrimp on the bobby. Mmm. Uh, where are you from? Where are you from? Austria. Mmm, California. Beautiful. <laughs> Put another shrimp on the barbie. So do you do you have to give the interior designer a budget of what you want to spend? No, I told or my just wife like it's unlimited. I, I, no, there's no unlimited here. Like I'm 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 just the freaking commentator. I just talk football. Like the, the, we get, we need Joe Biden to get this market like to stay high. Like we can't, like this market's got to continue. If it goes like this, I might be in a shit's creek. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see what happens. But what's the budget? You you have to have a budget for this interior. Designer. It's just one bedroom. That's what I told Paige. Just one bedroom. Yeah. Just the ba Just our oldest daughter. She just let's get her. And they did this like design board, and it had the pinks and the butterflies and. I said, can't you do that? Aren't you, like, in between Target and, like, making sandwiches, can't you do the board? So is she just going to do... I'm kidding. Is she going to do every space that ends in room? So, like, no, bedrooms, no. living rooms, all that? We built a whole house, for, and it took two years. And I did. we did it ourselves. I actually, she did hire a designer. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> anyway. All right. Well, let's get off this subject. Let's go it's look at subject. the Corvette. It's downstairs. Everybody stay tuned. You do the spiel. Okay. Do the spiel. You good? This is a great this is a great episode. Right. So a wrap here. Look at it landed right in the box. Turn the card. Turn it on. Turn it. Um All right. yeah, but uh check us out on Instagram. Yeah, Twitter, check us out. It was Facebook, a good episode. We had fun. YouTube, TikTok, TikTok, Apple, Spotify, the whole nine yards, and we'll see you guys next week. See ya. Peace.